All right, live video right now coming to us from New York City where the Pope has just gotten off of the Pope Mobile here along Fifth Avenue. He's getting ready to lead a prayer service, an evening prayer service in St. Patrick's Cathedral this evening. A big day tomorrow, too, because he's addressing the United Nations General Assembly. Well, as we mentioned earlier today, the Pope made history by becoming the first Pope to address a joint session of Congress. And here to break this down is Wake Forest University journalism professor Justin Catnozo, who's written extensively about the Pope and the Catholic Church. Good evening, first of all, welcome. I know it's been a big it's day for you. Down. Yeah, you have emailed me at least twice today yeah. calling his speech uh, brilliant. Yeah. Why? You know, one, it was it was really well written, it was well spoken, it was well organized. He hit all the points that he wanted to hit. But there was something about the grace and the humility. Yeah. So he comes into this country, he has referred to capitalism as the dung of the devil. Yeah, strong language. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah before. Yeah. Well, you don't come to America and use that language. He was very humble in the way he approached this. And it really was accessible. You could just feel people sort of warming up to him and warming up to a message that was very aggressive. Beginning of the speech, yeah. uh, a lot of time stressing uh, unity, cooperation, hope, Absolutely. healing, justice, freedom, serving the poor, all very consistent messages from Absolutely. Him. This is what this guy is all about. He comes to this country and he recognizes the power of the United States to lead. And in many ways, what he was saying between the lines was, you guys have to lead. Yeah. He is looking at a bickering Congress, they can't get along, and he's saying, please bring your stuff together. Some of his strongest language was on immigration, saying yeah. we're not afraid of immigrants, we're all sons of immigrants. Why is he taking a leadership role in this? He sees it, it's all over the world. We have millions and millions of people leaving their countries because of war, because of famine, mostly because of terrorism. We are building a wall that we don't need to be building along the Mexican border. And he Basically, he's saying America is the leading country in, in immigration. We are a nation of immigrants, and we need to lead this way again. Were his comments on climate change consistent with what he said before? Because yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that uh, they expected him to beat the drum a little harder on this issue today. He made the comments that he needed to make. This is, uh, his position on climate change is absolutely clear. You know, we talked about this on Monday. The encyclical could not be any clearer where he's coming from. So he didn't need to beat it any harder than he did, but he made it clear that the United States has to take the lead. Abortion and gay rights, very subtle oh, uh, mentions of these. Really Why? Brilliant. Why? You know, because he doesn't want to be divisive. This was a very liberal speech to a very conservative Congress. Yeah. So there were a lot of people kind of squirming there today. All right, before we leave you, if you as a journalist had an opportunity to interview the Pope during this oh, visit, man. what is the very first question you'd want to ask him? You know, I'd want to ask him about leadership. I'd want to ask him, when did you decide that you had to step into this vacuum? That when you looked around the world and you looked at all these issues and you realized that the global leaders, the elected leaders of countries like China and the United States and India and uh, in Western Europe were not making the right decisions when it came to climate change, yeah. when it came to immigration, when it came to uh, economic reform. Yeah. When did you decide that you He's needed to be the guy? willing to stick out on a limb and do that. Justin, always a pleasure to have you it and your expertise to join us. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, man.